Joining me as he does each and every week, NFL Film Senior Producer Greg Cosell. Greg, on to Sunday's game against New Orleans, a team that's really interesting, another 1-3 and three team. Uh, you know, you look at this offense, uh, Drew Brees is back in the lineup. He had a good game on, on Sunday night against the, the, uh, the Dallas Cowboys. They did us a favor getting a win. Well, they started out the season. I, I didn't think they played really well on offense, and they had no speed. They had Brandon Cooks and really nothing else. So now, all of a sudden, in addition to Cooks, they've got Sneed and Spiller. And Spiller is a really fascinating player to have to defend because he can line up pretty much anywhere uh, in, in your offense. He can be split. He's detached. He can be in the backfield. Is They've gotten the running back on the wheel route yeah. in their offense, and that was I, a Darren, that was a huge Darren Sproles thing when he was there. Yeah, but that now that's been back, and right. I noticed it in the preseason. They threw it to Ingram quite a bit. They've thrown it to Ingram during the season, right? And now that Spiller's there, it certainly works with him moving forward. We'll see how much they use Coleman, who sort of the last couple of weeks hasn't been as big a right. factor in terms of number of snaps because of Snead, because I think they realize that speed in the right now is a little more important to them than, than the big body. I mean, I kind of like Hill, the tight end. Right. I thought he might be a guy. I'm not saying he's Jimmy Graham, but I thought that he could at least catch some passes. They haven't used him a whole lot. They haven't thrown to him a whole lot, but he's got some athleticism to him. They play a ton of rookies oh, on defense. Yeah, so it's, it's a young defense. It's a defense that will probably have its ups and downs. It, it probably is a defense that you can attack, uh, but, again, they can also get you because – and clearly he's going to look at an Eagles offense that's struggling in just about every area, right. and I think he's going to be a little more aggressive maybe than he might otherwise be, uh, particularly when you have a, a pocket quarterback. The number one issue for this team, I think, has been the play of the offensive line through four weeks. Yeah, He's going to look at that and think there'll be opportunities here to attack their protections, break down their protections, and make Sam Bradford uncomfortable. Yeah, no question about it.